just trying to start making sense of what goes on down here, trying to make sense of the hierarchy, not just having 500 objects up there, but putting them in some way so you can click and shrink them down with the tabs on the side, open up these folders, see what's going on. This is for you. Unity doesn't care, but you should about where your assets go. And so materials, scripts, animations, they should all go in their separate folders. And if you haven't seen it yet, this is one scene. I could make another scene in this game and still have the same assets, the same animations, the same materials, the same scripts, the same other stuff as parts of different scenes within the same project, within the same game. So you can go from level to level to level. Each one of those should be a scene that probably involves the same animated sprite moving around in very similar ways. Okay, cool. Hopefully this is new, interesting information to you. Have fun trying to make a marble machine. I'll send out an email with the exact requirements. They might change a little bit because I made them up on the fly as I told them to you, but I think it was 30 seconds that the ball has to go through it. You have to have at least three balls and was it four animations and materials and textures going on. Make it look nice. Okay, cool. See you on Thursday, if not before. What? I don't believe I'm on the Google page. It's like I find it. You added your forum post. I did. So I yeah. So you did get to the Moodle page somehow. It should say like 490 advanced topics. Okay. Either TBA or interactive game development. It might have changed. I tried to get that changed. Okay. So if you can't find it by this evening, okay. email me. I'll sure. make sure you get added back in. Yeah. And also, I realized why you couldn't import them because um, using a Maya file actually starts up Maya in the background. Unity does, and then yeah. there's this whole pipeline thing where it fits into it. Yeah, I have Maya. I, I got it installed. I don't think I have it licensed yet, okay. so it might not have just gotten the chain working. Yeah. Okay. So if you can export them as FBX, mm -hmm. it's, that's so much better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I was going to ask you on your Newton's Cradle. So yes. each of your little ball and rod constructions has a pivot, right? Yes, let's, so, let's go back to it here. Yeah. Open that project. I think it was Unity Intro. Yes, Cradle 2. Yeah. So, what I was going to ask you is like, you start out with one ball, like out, right? Yes. Basically, what I'm trying to do is I want to like set the pivot and be able to move the ball to like drop that ball, right? Okay. But when I try to move the ball, the pivot moves with it, and the pivot ends up way over here, and then, like, I, the ball's not even part of the cradle anymore. Like, I just don't, I can really... Yeah, get so let me, let me walk you through how I would do it. So, let's take this ball. Let's zoom in on this. I wish I could shrink this, but let's take that ball rocker. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to rotate things on this sphere. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to rotate it. I think it's the Z direction that I did. Say negative 90. Yep. Okay. So I rotated negative 90, but oh. now my pivot went with it. So my pivot is way down here. Right. So I've got to change my position to be, oops, negative three. I think it was 5.5, .5. and then I needed to go up. Okay, so what I didn't understand there was like two pivot arrows that show. Is that like the old yeah. one and the new one? Like, where'd your second pivot come from? So now my Newton's Cradle does that with both of them out at exactly the right spots. Okay, puts them back together. So what, like when you're removing the uh, ball rocker, there are two pivot yeah, Drop that Y back down yeah. to zero. You still have a pivot point up at the top. Why do you have two pivots? How did you get two pivots? I only have one because of this 
hinge joint. Well, why are there two arrows? Oh, yeah, this is happening. You have an arrow right here. Second arrow shows up when you move. Yeah. 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 Is that like the yeah. old location yeah. of the quick yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah, it's having those two things pop up too. I didn't like know what that was. Yeah. I just didn't really. No, the the other one is just like where it needs to be. Why before you moved it? So there's no. I don't know why it does that. I don't know why that's there, but. Whoa. Okay. Okay, I guess it makes sense. So, yeah, okay, just rotate the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. And then it should be right there. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Question? Mm, yeah, I might need to restructure, might need to create a little thing. It looks. But doesn't behave like an okay, and then I gotta run to my next class. So when I run mine, they actually fall off of the. Oh, weird. Yeah. So like they they actually are apart from. Yeah, I'll right. Be. And what is the frame of uh, everybody? Frame section. This whole thing. Yeah. Right? I'll see you next. So they might be saying my point is the average XYZ of this object. Okay. So you might want to connect them up Just to the cross. the cross box. Right? Okay. And that'll be this, and we should stay at the top. Okay. So let me make that a rigid body so we can drag it into that joint. Okay. Can I make the crossbar a rigid body if the rest of the frame is, if it's a rigid body as part of the frame? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah.